but I also have a really massive collection of the Rouge Duo Ultra Genoux lipsticks. So I thought, you know what, might as well, let's just go ahead and swatch all of these. Just a couple days ago, I uploaded a video talking about Chanel price increases on their leather goods. And I wanna say thank you to all of you who tuned in into that video that participated by leaving a comment, even if you were not necessarily a person that owns a Chanel bag or that is looking after a Chanel bag or that cares about luxury handbags. I just love that participation. I love how everybody was very respectful, sharing the ideas, and thoughts it was just wonderful but it was brought to my attention um, not only by one of you my followers but also I have heard it that Chanel is gonna be increasing the prices of their makeup I don't think obviously it's gonna be double the price of every single product perhaps a couple dollars here and there or so we hope and I have been meaning I mentioned it on my February favorites, also my January favorites, that I'm working on a complete and comprehensive guide to Chanel foundations. But I also have a really massive collection of the Le Rouge Duo Ultra Genoux lipsticks. So I thought, you know what, might as well, let's just go ahead and swatch all of these babies. I think they are about 15 total. I would putting all the details on the description box below in order of which ones I swatch. Also, it will appear here on the screen. And if you're new here to my channel, welcome and welcome to all of you, my dear friends. I do film in natural light, so hopefully this video helps you to determine if any of these lipsticks, the shades are something that it may suit your skin tone. I will be also leaving the foundation matches. I think there's just one or two lipsticks on this collection that they are limited edition and perhaps you will not be able to find it. Again, if I find it, all the links will be on the description box below. And thank you in advance to all of you who decide to shop through my links. I greatly appreciate that support. Okay, my friends, so let's go ahead and get it started with swatching <laughs> these babies. But before we do so, let me just tell you a little bit more about the formulation. They are made in Italy. They have a shelf life of 18 months. I'm not gonna tell you the price because I'm sure this video is gonna serve as a guide for many of you regarding this lipstick, so I don't want nobody to get confused. As you can see, the light is coming. It's kind of like a cloudy day. I do have a light on that side, but it's pointing the wall because on that side, it's a little bit darker. So anyhow, it comes with 4.5 ml on one side of the lipstick and 3.5 ml on the other side of the lipstick because as you can tell, there's two different sides. One, it is your pigment which when you apply it, you're gonna see it's matte. You let it dry a little, and then you go ahead and apply what is kind of like a top coat. Imagine that you're applying a top coat for your nail polish. It's a sealant. Basically, it will seal the pigment, and these are the most amazing, and the lipsticks that I recommend the most when people ask me, what lipstick should I get if I want something that is completely transfer proof? And I'm telling you, these lipsticks are those that you can eat a greasy meal, you can kiss, <laughs> and they will not batch, they will not make a mess onto anybody, and they are long lasting. Now you may be wondering, well, if they are so long lasting, are they drying? On my lips, not really. I haven't found any problems in terms of drying, chapped lips, but I'm used to exfoliate my lips as well as nourish them with a lip balm. It can be obviously one from Chanel, or you can use, I have here, for example, this one by Patrick Cha. I also have my Laneige one. I even have a close one. I mean, you can use any lip balm of your like. It doesn't have to be necessarily the one from Chanel and then you can tap it off whenever you feel that your lips are ready to go for these lipsticks. Another question that I'm sure you may be asking yourself is, well, if they are so bulletproof type of lipsticks, how am I gonna remove them? My biggest suggestion it is using a bifacial kind of makeup remover. I love this one from Lancome. There are so many equally, the one from Chanel, but the one from Lancome in specific, I just have like, 
this itsy itsy little amount it works magic it really breaks through the lipstick and then you're able to remove it without really having to scrub your lips one more thing to note is most of these lipsticks they have a flat kind of formulation in terms of like there's no shimmer or glitter exception for a few i do have a couple that they have a little bit of specks not of glitter like not even shimmer there's like kind of like a pearlescent kind of effect that is completely minimal and what they do is that they make your lips look even fuller even though i have to say that the sealant the clear gloss that it comes right here it will make your lips look fuller no matter what and i don't want to be redundant but <laughs> one more time i will be leaving all the details of each of the lipsticks as well as the rest of my makeup everything that i'm using today will be also in the description box below and if you're not already subscribed to my channel i invite you to subscribe to my channel make sure you ring that post notification bell because if you're a luxury beauty lover like myself you're going to enjoy my content and if you're on instagram and tiktok it would be amazing if you can come and follow me there because i create a lot of reels tiktoks i also do a speed content so it would be amazing if we can grow our family there too and because i want this video to be as helpful as possible I'm not gonna be lining my lips at all so these are my lips the natural shade of my lips and let's go for it starting first with the shade 387 Mary Rose I will highly suggest to go ahead and apply it twice mostly on the lighter shades like this one is super cool tone it gives me the vibe of Pamela Anderson kind of lips and if you have pigmented lips like mine you're gonna need at least two coats let the lipstick dry and then you're gonna go with the other side and this is your sealant like I said kind of like sealing <laughs> the deal this side is a brush while the other side was a dog food applicator Timeless Beige. Now the price increase is alleged. So we don't know, it's not 100% sure that it's gonna happen, but just in case, if it happens, we are ready for it. Fifty seven Darling Pink. One seventy four Endless Pink. One forty Light Rose. 172 light mauve 69 tender beige 154 intense caramel 48 soft rose one twelve chick rosewood forty three central rose one oh two milky blueberry 49 Ever Red 47 Daring Red 
lipsticks are so juicy and they are not thick that's something super important they are not thick in consistency you see this right here it got a little bit red don't worry usually it doesn't it's just i needed to let it dry a little bit more so there's no transfer it's just <laughs> i was trying to rush into this process of getting these swatches going so anyhow this is one of my very favorite the ultimate red swatches are completely done these lipsticks are super thin they don't feel thick or heavy on the lips they don't obviously they don't transfer they are beautiful and because of they have this versatility you can definitely use just the pigment side but the sealant is the top the gloss and i personally love satin lipsticks more than matte lipsticks these are thin comfortable you can build up on pigmentation as well as they come in so many different shades there's nudes there's pinky nudes there's mauve tones there's reds and there are many other shades that i do not own but i would love to add to my collection they don't crack and they are truly transfer proof let's see nothing <laughs> absolutely nothing there you have it my friends i hope that you enjoy this video that it serves you as a guy i will be leaving again all the details of these products on the description box below let me know which of all of these shades is the one that you love the most which one you're adding onto your wish list let's continue the conversation on the comment section down below while you're at it and if you haven't done so yet i want to invite you to subscribe to my channel make sure you ring the post notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads it will be amazing if you can come and follow me on my instagram and tiktok if you like this video do not forget to give it a thumbs up share it with family and friends and if you're not done watching my content i will leave in a couple other videos right here that i'm sure you're gonna love until the next time i hope you have a beautiful wonderful day Bye bye